I'm gonna make some tandoori chicken, a favorite of mine on this barbecue. Now to start that off, we're gonna make a little spice mix and make the marinade that'll give it the flavor that it needs to, to, to make it that authentic tandoori chicken that we all love. Yeah, we do all love, I do, yum. Beautiful, what we're gonna start with is some coriander seed, pop it into our mortar and pestle. If you've got a spice grinder or a coffee grinder, you can do this very so easily. So these are cumin. And cumin seed as well. I've given them a little toast already and we just pop them straight in there and, and the get coriander. them going. And the coriander seeds, beautiful. And in we go with some cayenne pepper, mix it all around and grind it all up. I've got some, uh, some, gar some garlic. I'm gonna give my garlic a bit of a shave on the microwave plane because I want it really, really fine so it melts in with all the other ingredients and makes it nice and tasty. Mm. About four cloves of garlic in there. Beautiful. There we go. Give that a tap and then I'll put it in there. Can I have that bowl, please? Right there where you is. had it, you mean? Right where I had it, that's all right. <laughs> I'm getting used to working with you, Janelle. It's all right. You like moving things around, but that's all right. That's Just okay. to give you space. Now, when you've ground that up so it's nice, fine paste, we'll put about a tablespoon in there. I've got some saffron. Beautiful. Throw that in there. Use it like you stole it. There's heaps of that. Then I've also got some ginger. I love ginger. And I'll do the same thing. I'll just grate it on my microplane here. There we go. So it's nice and fine. And I'll do it with the skin on. So it doesn't really matter. This is all This is all going to you know, go into nice small pieces and it'll make it taste really nice. The more of this you use, of course, the more flavour. Throw that in there like that. And I've got some turmeric, which looks like a ginger, from the ginger family apparently, but gives it a really nice yellow colour. You know, I'll put a bit of that in, but to get the real yellow colour, I've got something else, a nice little sort of sneaky thing. So I'm gonna... beautiful, it's just the colour of carrot. Beautiful, I'm going to throw that in turmeric. there, and it's got a great flavour as well. What I've got here is some uh, some red food dye, so I'll take that off there. comes you in a packet, nice not. and dry. Well, that's what, tandoori, when you see it, is all nice and red, and it's actually a food dye that makes it nice and red. So I'll put a I'm nice sure amount of that in. sure it wasn't in the old days. Yeah, yeah, they use a food dye for it. Trust a me. natural food dye. Natural food dye. That's 100% natural. Some sort of uh, paint and they get wood chips down and they well, do all Well, it doesn't even say things. what's in it. Yeah, it'd be natural. And I've got some fresh coriander. Give that a bit of a chop. I throw that into the bowl there. Thank you, Janelle. You can see the right red food dye I've got on there. It's just gone crazy. So I'll cut some lemons in half, two of them. How are you going with those spices? Nearly it's there. It's all done. Squeeze of two lemons into here and about a tablespoon of those spices, if you can put that in there, Janella. And of course, and that's gonna be really, really spicy. I've got some of this lovely Greek style yogurt, which is nice and thick. Oh, there In there. Go. Pour that straight into there like that. Beautiful, and stir it around. See, that is the color of a tandoori. If you go to the local Indian store near me and you order tandoori chicken, that's what color it is. Nice, bright red. It looks a bit fluorescent, doesn't it? It looks a bit crazy, but believe me, when it's cooked, it'll taste Adrian, fantastic. it's 2010. Wow, it's fluoro, isn't it? It's fantastic. It reminds me of the wetsuits I used to wear when I was 17 years old. Beautiful, I've got my chicken here. I'll take it out of the bag. Beautiful free range chicken. We only use free range chicken here at uh, Good Chef Bad But we Chef. use food dye. Yeah, food dye's all right. Natural food dye's fine. You know, I and what I'll do is get my chicken, cut it down the spine here like this, and I'll just do it really quickly. I'm only gonna do half a chicken. Cut it straight through like that, pop that in there, and then all you need to do is, of course, go underneath the leg there, and then you pop it back. I'll take that hip bone out. You can see, with a sharp knife, this occurs very easily. It's very easy to do. Take your time with it, though, and you'll be able to get some really nice chunky pieces. I'll cut the leg off there like that, straight through, and then what I'll do is I'll just start cutting some deep grooves in it so the marinade goes all the way in there, and I'll throw that into there like that. Oh, there we go. Cut that like that, a couple of deep grooves in there. Now mix that through, beautiful, there we go. Now what I'll do is give that a bit of a mix around. Now I'm gonna get my hand in here, there's enough marinade here to oh, do the whole here chicken. Oh, here least. we go. <laughs> now this is the best part. Can you cut that lemon in half for me? Right in half, there we go. I'm gonna That way? You. That's it, straight down, the, that's straight down the middle. I'm gonna take my skewer, you up. Looks like a sword. It is. It's like a sword. <laughs> oh, straight through the middle there. This is nice, all about presentation. Adrian. You take your chicken like this, and I put my, you know, skewer through the wing bone there. Be careful. You don't want to get any yeah, wet no. on you. There we go. Through there like that. And if you go to a tandoori store in uh, in India, <laughs> I've been to India. Actually, one of my cousins who actually comes from India. Here we go. Yeah, this is serious, G. Oh, beautiful. It's not like a kids show, and he's just making fun of it. Pop that. Pop the lemon on the end there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Come on, you've done that before, haven't you? 
And then what you do is... I hope it's the last normally time. Normally we'd marinate this for, for, for a day or so, 24 we'll hours or 12 hours. leave it in the fridge hours. so you can look at it for a bit yeah, longer. We're going to pop it straight on here. Now what I've got on my barbecue here, but you can see I've done something a little sneaky here. I've got some foil, bunched it up into a ball, so I've got... It's almost like a rotisserie, and I can stand here with my little sword here and just keep turning it over and let it cook slowly over the coals and it'll be nice and delicious and tasty and moist tandoori chicken. There you go, it's ready to go. Now you're right, I used a little bit too much red uh, dye. Oh. You, you didn't notice, did you? But I haven't used this particular one before. Oh, okay. And I thought it was like, like the one I normally use. And but you know what, if you got that in an Indian um, oh, shop, restaurant, you wouldn't think that that was too red. Is it tasty? Mm. I, I can't do it. Because I think that you deserve that. Mm. I think Beautiful. that's yours. Beautiful. I would have liked to marinate it for a little bit longer, but I think it's going to be delicious. I'm going to sit down and eat the rest of this. And I'm going to take us back inside because, you know, I don't know, he just turns into more of a caveman out here. And I'm going to make a really yummy yogurt panna cotta.